Hi guys, it's Judith from the Intuitive Body Foodie Network and today I'm going to attempt to cook Australian lamb shank. So as many of you know, I don't know how to cook meat, so this whole carnivore, actually this whole animal-based diet has been a real journey for me. Um, so let's get creative and see what we can do with this. Come. This is, I don't know, I don't know how many, how many pounds it is. Uh, 0.836 kilograms. Ah, I'm not sure. It's a lot of meat for me, let's put it that way. I've had it um, defrosting in my fridge. And I'm hoping that it's fully defrosted. Oh wow, they double package it. Okay. I know that's reassuring to a lot of people, but I'm a environmentalist and all this packaging is just a little too much for me. A little excessive. Because where does all this plastic go? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Oh, there's got to be an easier way to open this. Yeah, this is a bit excessive. Okay, they look like, oh, and the bone's in, okay. Hmm. You know, it's interesting. I was thinking I would put these in salt and pepper and bake them. Actually, I think I will. I know these can be cooked in a slow cooker, but I'm believe I'm going to, my intuitions tell me just to put them in this pan and a little bit of oil and maybe some stock and just salt and pepper them and bake them. So I'm going to follow my intuition and yes, Mr. Carnivore is here. Mr. Carnivore is going home to live with his mummy in a few days so I'm going to enjoy eating as much carnivore with him as I can until then. So he wants some lamb shank. So let's give him some lamb shank before we put it in the oven, shall we? This is nice and fatty, so it's good for him. A little bit of grizzle. What is that, tendon? Or Yeah, I guess that'd be tendon. Hey, baby. There you go. Okay, oil. So I'm going to use beef and bison. This is grass-fed beef and bison fat. I'm not going to add a whole lot. Oh, Taffy's already done and he wants more. Do you want more, buddy? Yeah, hold on. Nice to know I'm not the only one that appreciates lamb meat around here. I might actually have to save one of those shanks just for him. Hey, bud. Oh yeah, he is devouring that. So maybe I'll put one of these aside for him. <clears throat> and I decide I'm not going to use the broth. I'm just going to grease this up. It will melt. Oh my god, he's done already. You'd think I don't feed this cat, but he just ate, and now he wants even more of this. It's interesting, there's not a lot of meat on this. Usually I buy the, um, I buy shank without the bone in it. But the reason why I want the bone is because I wanted to make uh, bone broth with it, but I don't think I'm going to do that. That was if I was going to cook it in a slow cooker. Yes, Taffy, it's coming, hon. It's coming, buddy. Mmm, some of that good fat and tendon. It's good for his little brain and his heart. His seizures have almost completely ceased since being on a carnivore diet. I'm going to cut off 
have some more of that for him. Taffy eats so good. I think he eats better than most people do. Him and I have a deal. Our deal is that if I come back as a cat, he's going to be my owner and he's going to take really good care of me. Until then, I'm taking good care of him. Because that's what friends do, right? Doesn't matter if your friend is an animal. Sometimes they make the best friends. All right, are y'all done? I see a little piece of meat here, you missed it. A little piece of fat. Oh, and he says, I'll eat that, thank you very much. <laughs> Do you want more? Mm-hmm. How about I save the rest for later? And now I've just covered it with foil, and I'm gonna put it in the convection oven at 350 degrees. Yeah, that's about right, 45 minutes. And in the meantime, I will cut up the rest of this and store it in a little glass jar in the fridge. And Taffy can have this later, maybe with a little bit of salmon and tuna. Maybe some chicken. This went off a while ago. Yes, it's hot, but it's not so hot that I need to Use oven mitts. Let's see how, oh, that looks good, how it cooked up. Need a fork and a knife. Still pretty raw. Oh, that's good. Let's see if I'm going to like it like that. I'm not hungry, but I do want to taste it just to see. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that was perfect. Taffy, I can't give you any because I have salt and pepper on it. Sorry, buddy. That is freaking amazing. I'm going to enjoy that. And now I just want to see. No, there's no marrow in there. That's okay. That was so worth making. So definitely give it a try. If you've never tried um, lamb shank or any sort of shank with a bone in it, if you typically put it in a slow cooker and cook it for a long time or you do what it says on the recipe to brown it and then do vegetables and put broth in and all that stuff you don't need to just a little bit of fat put it in defrosted in the oven 350 for about 40 45 minutes i did not use a convection on the convection oven so 40 45 minutes roughly at 350 superb and as you can see it's like a medium rare it's perfect if obviously if you want it more medium then probably 60 minutes if you want it more rare then maybe 30 but 30 minutes so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll be chowing down on this later and until i see you in the next video ciao for now